I'm Troy, and welcome to the Arcata Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary. Today we find ourselves in the picturesque town of Arcata, California, where nature enthusiasts are in for a treat. We're about to embark on a journey through a unique destination known for its exceptional beauty and thriving ecosystem. Join me as we explore this remarkable sanctuary, renowned for its innovative wastewater treatment facility and thriving ecosystem. The Arcata Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary is a stunning example of successful wetland restoration. Spanning over 307 acres, this sanctuary is home to an impressive variety of flora and fauna. What makes it even more remarkable is the fact that it's a man-made wetland, demonstrating the power of environmental conservation. This sanctuary is a true testament to the harmonious integration of conventional wastewater treatment and natural wetland processes, transforming wastewater into a valuable resource. This sanctuary is divided into several different areas, each serving a specific purpose. The primary treatment wetlands are responsible for the purification of the town's wastewater, turning it into a clean, clear water that supports a diverse array of wildlife. As we delve deeper into the sanctuary, we encounter a tapestry of freshwater marshes, salt marshes, tidal sloughs, grassy uplands, mudflats, and brackish marshes. This variety of habitats provides a haven for an astonishing array of wildlife and vegetation. As we explore the sanctuary, you'll notice an intricate network of channels, ponds, and islands that create a haven for countless bird species. The Arcata Marsh has gained international recognition as a globally significant birding area, attracting bird watchers from all over the world. Situated along the Pacific Flyway, a crucial migratory route, the Arcata Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary becomes a bustling hub for thousands of birds. They breed in the far north and seek refuge in California, Mexico, and Central and South America during the winter. In fact, the sanctuary boasts one of the highest concentrations of birds on the coast, hosting over 300 different species. When breeding, a black-crowned night heron care for any chick placed in its nest. Interestingly, these herons do not differentiate between their own offspring and nestlings from other parents. Birdwatchers flock to the sanctuary, making it a premier destination for avian enthusiasts. With its weekly organized bird walks and thousands of birding visitors each year, you can expect an extraordinary opportunity to witness these winged wonders up close. The great egret, which is a pristinely white bird, serves as the emblem of the National Audubon Society, one of the longest standing environmental organizations in North America. The society was established with the purpose of safeguarding birds from being hunted for their feathers. While the great egret predominantly hunts by wading in water, it occasionally swims to capture prey or performs a somewhat laborious effort hovering over the water before plunging in to catch fish. In addition to birds, the sanctuary is home to a rich diversity of other wildlife. Be on the lookout for river otters, gray foxes, bobcat, striped skunk, red-sided garter snake, praying mantis, tidewater goby, red-legged frog, and even the elusive western pond turtle. It's truly a treasure trove of natural wonders. If you're a nature lover or science enthusiast, We'll be fascinated by the ongoing research and education programs at the Sanctuary. The marsh serves as a living laboratory, offering scientists valuable insights into wetland ecology, water quality, and sustainable practices. It smells putrid, or in layman's terms, not very good. The Sanctuary also boasts an extensive network of trails, making it an ideal spot for hikers, joggers, and cyclists. You can explore the trails at your own pace, surrounded by breathtaking scenery and the sounds of nature. The parking lots are a popular spot to have lunch, relax on a break, or enjoy a locally popular and state legal plant. North American river otters were once heavily hunted for their fur, which led to a significant decline in their population. However, due to conservation efforts and habitat restoration, their numbers have rebounded in many areas. They are now listed as a species of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. 
Immerse yourself in the sanctuary's wonders by joining one of the guided tours led by knowledgeable Marsh volunteers. Rain or shine, you can embark on a captivating 90-minute walk with the Friends of the Arcata Marsh every Saturday at 2 p.m. These tours focus on the rich bird life, plant species, and Marsh's intricate ecology. No reservations are necessary, but please note that group sizes are limited to 15 people. The Redwood Region Audubon Society also offers captivating field trips at the Arcata Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary. Held on the first and fourth Saturdays of each month from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., these excursions provide a fantastic opportunity to explore and learn from experienced birding enthusiasts. Meeting at the end of South I Street in Arcata, these field trips promise unforgettable moments in nature. For a deeper understanding of the sanctuary's ecology and wildlife, a visit to the Arcata Marsh Interpretive Center is a must. Here, interactive exhibits, free maps and literature, a bookstore, bird checklists, and recent bird sighting logs await curious visitors. The center is open Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., providing a wealth of information and resources. For schools and groups interested in tailored tours, the Arcata Marsh Interpretive Center offers free docent-led walks on various topics. To schedule a future tour, make sure to contact the center at least two weeks in advance by calling 707-826-2359 or emailing amic at cityofarcata.org. Before we wrap up our adventure, don't forget to check out the observatory deck. It provides a panoramic view of the sanctuary, allowing you to soak in the beauty and serenity of this incredible habitat. If you're captivated by the beauty of the sanctuary and want to contribute to its preservation, you can make a difference through the Arcata Marsh Community Fund at the Humble Area Foundation. By supporting habitat restoration, trail maintenance, and climate change adaptation projects, you can help protect the Arcata Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary for generations to come. Thanks to the people at the Interpretive Center for being so helpful, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know your favorite animal we saw in the comments. If you didn't like the video, let me know what you think I can improve for future videos. Wow. Look at that sunset. Oh, what up, Mau Mau? There was a mix-up at the fur factory. Nice, good calico joke. Mix, How'd they do that to your tail? Oh. Oh yeah, that's a good cat noise. Next. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mau Mau. You seem clean. That's well, a house cat. Hi, baby.